Tsekwa. I'm a social media specialist. Before I go in to tell you what I actually currently am busy with right now, I actually want to just talk to you about the world of social media. Um, there's no one true path and um, my story will, will clearly show that. So I actually um, graduated um, with a sociology and history degree. I did, I did love marketing, but I fell in love with history and sociology more. So I actually wanted to become a development worker and went so far as doing my master's at the University of Cape Town um, and, you know, did the whole thesis and everything. Um, but during that time, a friend of mine was like, oh, you know, I know you also enjoy uh, marketing. So, uh, you know, my, my agency is looking for interns. Do you want to join? And to be honest, the rest was history. Uh, I haven't fully used my development studies degree, but I have used my sociology and history degree quite a lot. Um, and this is because in social media, you need to understand nuances. Um, you're always dealing with people who cannot, you know, express to you visually, um, you know, you face to face about, you know, what their concerns are or, you know, what they like about your brand. So, you know, you need to have that understanding of nuances, which I feel my training uh, in sociology helped me quite a bit. Um, and then I think maybe eight, eight years into my career as a social media specialist, I then actually did my master's in marketing. Um, I actually went to Spain to do it. Um, and the reason for that was so I could get a different exposure and understanding on how internationally people understand marketing and how uh, different people are, are, practicing, are practicing marketing and also how you know, they're using social media because you know, each, each country, each region is completely different in how they use social media in their marketing um, strategies. So, yeah, that, you know, that that's my story showing that, um, you know, going into marketing or in social media marketing, um, there isn't really a one true uh, way of doing it. Uh, for example, I know someone who actually studied law and then ended up in social media. But nowadays, you know, there, uh, there are courses and degrees that look at trying to professionalize social media marketing, so which is great. Um, and that also helps, you know, to provide a base of understanding for how, you know, you, you need to um, understand the platforms and also the landscape. So I actually started at the bottom, which is intern, um, and then became a community manager, which I always recommend. Uh, you know, recommend people do because being a community manager makes you understand the nuances of each platform. So a community manager responds to um, the community, which are people who like or just are on the page um, for their brands, but then they're also responsible at times for publishing. So posting the content that you see on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So that's what actually I started doing. And to be honest, that had the biggest impact in how I understand the social media landscape. So I would always recommend someone starting, you know, doing community management. And then from there, you can understand whether you want to be in reporting, uh, crisis management, reputation management strategy. Um, so, you know, so that kind of starting point, is, I believe, is quite important. Um, so I actually was a social media specialist um, for, you know, I'm still am, um, and it's it's been it's been quite an interesting journey. So I've actually worked for, you know, the, the popular agency Ogilvy. Um, I worked on FMCG uh, accounts there, as, and you know that was quite interesting. And then I've worked um, in a more corporate leaning, uh, traditional PR agency that was moving more to incorporate uh, social media and digital media into their offering, Flashman Hillard. And there I actually then met, you know, got to hone my skills in what I love doing, which is reputation management, crisis management, and reporting and analytics, which has actually led me to where I am right now. So now I'm an audience analyst lead for rest of Africa at AB InBev within their internal agency called Draftline. 
and there I manage a team that reports on the the various brands that are within the regions that we we are currently covering, which is Nigeria, Tanzania, Zambia, uh, Botswana, and Mozambique. Um, and we provide crisis support, uh, reputational management support, and you know the the day to day performance reporting on how is your content being received by people, um, what needs to change. So we provide insights and we believe in uh, data-led strategies and executions. So, um, you know, that's that's been my story. I think uh, if anyone's interested in, you know, becoming a social media specialist, you need to also um, be willing to, to be flexible and changing with the times. Because within the social media uh, landscape, it's consistently changing. And it might not be changing because of, you know, new platforms coming up um, as they used to back in the day. But it's changing in the way that people interact with your platforms differently. So, you know, Facebook was all the, the hype and then moved to Twitter and then kind of like died down and then went to Snapchat and then went to Instagram. So everyone's everywhere. And right now, TikTok is the biggest thing. So it's more of being willing to to um, you know navigate that ever-changing landscape and have an open mind of consistently learning um, I believe that you know we're going to get um, maybe a, a newer platform which or newer way of um, interacting with the platforms which clubhouse has kind of shown us and you know Twitter creating spaces um, to compete with clubhouse um, and I think right now it's more on how we opt people optimize the the current platforms that are that are currently there, um, and and looking at more you know ingenious ways of creating content. So TikTok has shown that you don't need to be an amazing videographer to create you know impactful videos. So what does that mean? Uh, for everyone else, you know, and I think that that's going to be a challenge um, that I foresee within the industry. Um, but, you know, it's exciting because, you know, one day you think you you understand it completely, but then the next day you're you're relearning everything. So if you're consistently eager to be in a landscape that's forever changing, then I would completely recommend, um, you know, social media. Um, I love it. Uh, kind of addicted to it. I try and leave it once in a while because, you know, you just want to breathe sometimes. But um, I haven't been exposed to something that's, for you know, consistently changing um, and has tempted me to kind of leave where I'm at to go somewhere else. <laughs>